What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over six things you didn't know about Rapture from Bioshock. Number six, early concepts for the inner Persephone level in Bioshock 2 show that the therapy rooms that housed the little sisters would also have housed little brothers. They would have been failed experiments mainly due to their aggression. Although the little brothers were never made, the condition of the main ward is quite fitting for the concept, as one of the side rooms appears nearly destroyed, with beds tossed around and a small gaping hole made above the ceiling of its unreachable central walkway. Number 5. In Deco Devolution, the art of Bioshock 2, the Adonis Luxury Resort level in Bioshock 2 is known as Prelude. The game files actually refer to it as Prelude 2, as another introductory level was originally planned before being scrapped. It would have featured a playable scene set during the 1958 New Year's Eve Masquerade Ball, similar to the game's introduction cutscene. Number 4. Outer Persephone in Bioshock 2 was originally intended as a gossamer-draped Eden, envisioned by Sophia Lamb. When she took over Persephone, she intended for it to have a communal atmosphere, but went to the extreme with a soft and friendly design to a point where it became terrifying and single-minded. Concept art shows library reading rooms, a dining hall, abstract marble sculptures, and a sewing area to create the drapes. When you become a little sister in Bioshock 2, what you see in Persephone is more or less what it would have looked like. Number 3. The level name Arcadia in the first Bioshock was inspired by the Latin phrase et in Arcadia ego, which translates into even in Arcadia, I exist, spoken by death personified. The utopian vision Arcadia is associated with a bountiful natural splendor and harmony, so the phrase is a reminder that even in paradise, things die, which, ironically, could be a reference to Rapture itself. Early in development for the level, Andrew Ryan was intended to say this just before releasing the poison into the level. According to a blog post by Bioshock developer Jean-Paul Breton, Ryan's line was cut from the game, but the name of the level remained. Number 2. A quote by Hagarth Delaplante, the lead environment artist of 2K Marin in the Deco Devolution art book, explains more of Bioshock 2's Pauper Drop's level design origins. Quote, Pauper's Drop is a district that is under the tracks or under the Brooklyn Bridge or something like that. It's somewhere where people are living where they weren't originally supposed to live. We came up with the idea of the Atlantic Express train system that permeates Bioshock 2. You go through all the train stations, but there was also a maintenance switchyard on the ocean floor where trains would stop to be worked on. But then at some point, Sinclair realized that there would be all this real estate down there that nobody was using for anything, so he sublet or purchased it from Atlantic Express, and built a low-income housing area literally down under the Atlantic Express tracks." End quote. A cut radio message from Augustus Sinclair also provides some more backstory for the level. Quote, Welcome to Popper's Drop, kid. Named after a suicide in point of fact, they used to say all the world's weeping collects down here. Grace's people have been loyal to Lamb from the very beginning. I guess a desperate man will buy most anything." End quote. Number 1. The Rapture Zoo was an area that was intended to be included in the first Bioshock as part of Fort Frolic. Multiple interviews with developers of the game mention that this level was ultimately cut fairly far along in the design process due to time constraints, and they indicate that it was one of the things that they most regretted having to cut. Not much is known about the zoo apart from concept work, but the only concrete information comes from an interview that mentions that it would have included an elephant. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 6 video about Rapture from Bioshock. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter, at MittenSquad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.